All right, everyone, we signed in for the meeting and did our introduction. So, you know, again, thank you for being here, Kevin. Um, I know this is a really challenging situation. So I appreciate the opportunity for us to come to the table um, for this meeting. Before we get started, I just, you know, I want to talk with you a little bit more about the purpose of the meeting, and then I'm going to touch back on your rights as a parent. So in the invitation to the meeting, we told you this is a manifestation determination meeting. And what that means is that what we're trying to do as a district and as a team of which you're a part is to decide if the incident that happened last week with Amanda in math class, if that was directly related or caused by her disability or happened because we as a district didn't implement her IEP as we should have, as we promised to. So that's what manifestation determination means is us trying to figure that out. And the answers to those questions help us know what we can do next. So we're going to walk you through that today um, as the parent and as a team. And so we're going to review the incident. We're going to talk about Amanda's needs, her, her disability. We're going to look at the things in her IEP that are relevant to the incident that happened and then try to make those decisions. So any questions about that? Not at this time. Okay. So just know like any questions that pop up don't hesitate to ask. We did review your parent rights at her annual IEP meeting earlier in the year, mm -hmm. but because we're here for this manifestation meeting, I just want to touch on them again with you. Specifically, in the toward the back of these um, procedural safeguards or parent rights, there's a lot of information about this particular situation, disciplinary removals of a student with a disability, and your rights as a parent. Okay. And some of the things that you, you can do that you have rights to in this type of a situation. So, again, we can touch on some of those more specifically at the end of the meeting, but it is important that you know about that. And again, you are a member of this team. You have the right to participate in the meeting, and we are still obligated to provide Amanda a free and appropriate public education, even in the midst of this disciplinary situation. Okay. Any Thank you. questions about that right now? No. Okay. Thanks. Great. 